you know, what's the, what's the key to all of it? People. People at the centre of everything we do. We want to capture these memories so we can share them with future generations. But we also want to show off these people to the rest of the community. The Warm and Toasty Club's a non-profit organisation that runs memory afternoons. Uh, we go into retirement establishments and community centres, social clubs, that kind of thing, and get together with some of our older generation and we share positive memories of things from their younger days. We have lots of tea and biscuits, but most of all we have laughter. It's just a, a delight to be part of and to see the joy on everybody's faces and just hearing them laugh is just wonderful. I love it. Let's start at the very beginning. I was born in Hackney and um, moved to Colchester about 15, 16 years ago with my family. We saw a piece in, a, in the independent newspaper, a little piece say, Colchester, great place to live. So we came here a few times, we had a camper van then, we'd drive our camper van out to a campsite and then we'd walk the streets of Colchester. And I couldn't believe it, or we couldn't believe it. You'd walk down the road and people would say, hello, good morning, good afternoon. The, you know, people in shops would be interested in you, they'd pass the time of day with you. And we just thought it's really lovely. What a lovely place uh, Colchester is. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you all? We're making it warm in here. It'll be warm and toasty. Um, it always is it with our afternoons. About five or six years ago, myself, my lovely wife Dawn, and a young gentleman called Ben Howard, um, we devised the thing called the Warm and Toasty Club. And initially, the idea was it was um, Sunday afternoon clubs at the Arts Centre, variety shows. I think at the time we called it like a youth club for grown-ups. And the idea was about celebrating our community here in Colchester alongside bringing in musicians that I'd been championing from across the country that we wouldn't normally get the, the chance to see in Colchester. I first became involved uh, when I came along to the first Warm and Toasty Club at Colchester Arts Centre a few years ago now and I really enjoyed it as a guest and John O asked me if I would mind helping at the next one and that was the beginning of this beautiful relationship of me and the Warm and Toasty Club. I spoke to the director of um, the Arts Centre, Anthony Roberts, and he said come along with me young man. I'm going to do a performance of Christmas Carol at um, a place called Cranmere Court, which was a retirement venue for people over 60. And uh, I'll introduce you to a few, few of the people there. And the idea of Memory Afternoons was developed over a period of time. Memory Afternoons allow me to do something that feels enriching to me, whilst um, being enriching to the people we work with. Hey, we work really hard at what we do. We put a lot, a lot, a lot of time into it. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you put a lot of time in it so that it looks like you haven't bothered. <laughs> no, we, we work hard at it and we're being rewarded for um, the work we do and being recognised. And our reward is getting more people involved, so sharing more with people, having more memory afternoons where we can hear people's stories, hear about their lives. And funny enough, the other day on the, on the um, Facebook, there was a picture of the military hospital, and I thought, I've been there, my dad has been there. You know, it's funny how these, because it's gone, isn't it? Garrison's gone, the, the swimming pool's gone. Yeah. You should go swimming there. I think memory afternoons, they're kind of like a happiness exchange. You know, a lot of it's about happiness. And we get gifts from people by being with them. We talk to them and we ask them to share their memories. And those memories 
and them investing their trust in us with their stories, that's a little gift to us. We can record it, we can put it on an archive, so in 50 years, in 150 years, people can listen and hear stories of people reminiscing in Essex, in Colchester in 2019. And that's lovely, because that, that's a time capsule for future generations. It's the tonic you can't get from the doctor. It's better than any tablet you take. You know, I find that doing the memory afternoons makes me feel good. I'm really happy, makes me happy. And the people we work with, it makes them happy. The changes in the people that come and visit the Warm and Toast Club are amazing. They're getting so much out of the memory afternoons that the feeling of, well, less feeling of isolation and more feeling of being looked after and cherished and listened to and not being invisible. So I, I, I've seen that and the friendship that they're creating. You can live in retirement establishments and not know people, you know, a couple of doors down and they're all getting to see each other in communal areas. People from outside of the retirement establishments come in and visit and create more friendships and bring something completely different. It's just so good getting everybody together and they all seem to get something that's missing in their lives. They're getting it out of this. My grandparents all died a lot of years ago and my parents quite a few years ago too. And the joy that I get from spending time with some of our older visitors, it's, it's what anybody would get from their parents, their grandparents, and all the things I miss from having that extension of family, I get from some of these people. And I know I shouldn't have favourites, but I do. <laughs> but they are all absolutely lovely and make me feel part of something. There's just something that was missing and it's fulfilled by the Warm and Toasty Club. I don't have my mum and dad anymore. You know, a big part of doing the memory afternoons is I used to talk to my mum and dad about their, their best years, their younger years, their days when they were teenagers or they were young people in the 40s and 50s. And I've always had a fascination for that time. I'd give anything to be able to call my mum and have a chat about now, about what she was like as a girl, and the same with my dad. And I don't have that anymore. And I'm, I miss it every single day of my life. I try not to get emotional, but in a way, the people who participate in the memory afternoons, they become like your surrogate parents, your surrogate brothers and sisters. I do have brothers and sisters, but not parents and talking to them replaces something that you've lost it replaces people that you've lost and it gives you that sense of for me sense of belonging and purpose i feel like i'm useful Jono is the most perfect host for something like the warm and hosted club he's um, enigmatic he's kind he's thoughtful he's very funny um, he makes everybody feel really special, the, the visitors to the Warm and Toasty Club, to us helpers. He's just, I think somebody described him at one of the last Art Centre events as a national treasure and they're absolutely not wrong. He really is. He's fantastic at doing this and making everybody feel great. I find life is easier with laughter. <laughs> I like having a laugh all the time. You know, can you think of the last time you had a real good belly laugh and how it made you feel? And in a way, the Warm and Toasty Club is like that. I can forget all about the troubles of the world, my own troubles, and just relish the company of good people and good stories. Happiness.